<coughs> hello friends in this video we're gonna learn about how to add a schema markup to your wordpress blog those who are not sure about what is schema markup let me give an example so let me go to google and Let me type how to cook chicken. So if you uh, enter this how to cook chicken, you may get a lot of search results, right? Out of that, as you can see, couple of search results having this star mark, having an image, having the review, and how much is the cook time so those kind of information is only possible if you have schema markup in your website so what is schema markup schema markup is a language which google can understand so schema markup is for search engine not for the human and with the help of schema markup you can have a rich snippet like this as you can see the these results back uh, chicken breast so all the information like the star rating the review and the preparation time this is what you call rich snippet which is achieved by schema markup now how to uh, do schema markup for your blog so there are a couple of ways first of all if you theme support schema markup that's good otherwise you can go for some seo plugin like rank math which is schema markup option or in the worst case you have to have a dedicated plugin so i'm going to show you all three methods so let me go to my blog dashboard So for this blog, I am using Astra theme and by default Astra theme has schema markup. So if you are buying schema uh, Astra theme, then you don't need to buy any schema uh, plugins. In case your theme does not have the schema markup, then you can go for rank math SEO plugin and it has a schema markup. So let me show you that. So let me log into my dashboard. Here, if you go to Rank Math uh, SEO plugin, if you go to the dashboard, so it has the option for the rich snippet. So, with the help of rich snippet, you can achieve uh, things like this. Okay, so. You can go to settings and you can set what kind of schema markup you want to set so since it's a blog so the schema should be article so you can select the article if it is a book you can select book you can select quotes if it is a product like if you have e-commerce website then you can select product you can select recipe if you want to have things like this which is a recipe so like this uh, uh, rank math has about 14 to 15 type of uh, schema markup that you can achieve for all blogs we should select articles okay if you have e-commerce website select product if you have a blog for recipes you can select recipes so i feel like this is the easiest way to add schema mark for your blog by using rank math seo plugin i have made one separate video on how to set uh, rank math so if you want you can watch that video in case if you don't want to uh, use rank math for some reason then i'll talk about one plugin 
with the help of which you can set the schema markup so let me go to my another blog go for plugin go for add new So here let me search for schema markup so you can see that plugin which is by magazine 3 and that's a very good uh, schema markup plugin so let me install that please make a note that uh, don't use uh, schema marker from different plugin for example if you're using rank math then don't use that plugin if you use that plugin don't use rank math and if your theme has schema markup then don't enable the schema markup in rank math and don't install this because if you use multiple schema markup then it will spoil your blog and google won't understand like which schema marker it should take all right so let me click on activate So once you click on activate you have option for structured data so click on that and go for schema type so here you can set your schema type like if it's the article as i said you have to select article if it is a product you select product so let me go for add schema type again this plugin has different type of uh, schema so for it's a blog so we'll select blog article then go for next so what kind of article like the post type equal to post okay so again the post type can be page as well but we want to have schema markup only for the post so the post type should be equal to post if you want to have schema markup for page as well then you can select page then click on next So that's all you have added the schema for the articles. Now if you go to any post, so at the bottom you will have the option for the schema. So as you can see this is the schema type this is the article so all the information it is pulling automatically okay now this plugin has the different settings let me go into that so here you have to give all the information so it is good for the schema markup so like you have to select the about touch page you have to select the contact us if you want to have site link search box you have to select site link search box if you want to broadcast to be included then you have to select broadcast and the site navigation menu this is also will be part in the schema so you have to select the navigation menu as well if you want to have the schema for the amp plugins then you have to select yes if you don't know what is amp and how to set up amp I have made one video on AMP. If you want, you can watch that. So I have given the link in the descriptions. Coming to compatibility, if you want to have a star rating, so like this star rating, if you want to have, then you can install this plugin, KK star rating, and select yes. Again, I have made one more video on how to include star rating in WordPress blog using KK star rating. I get the link in the description. If you want to watch, you can see that. then coming to email schema for its follow commerce booking so it's not required coming to advance you can select the micro data cleanup and this option other things you can skip if you're using some schema plugin before you can select which you want to import so like you have schema pro and wp schema so if you want to import the data from other schema then you can import here all right 
then they have some premium feature like you know recipe schema or course schema event schema if you want to have all the schema then you have to buy their premium features so that's all about uh, uh, this plugin with the help of which you can uh, have schema markup in your website so i see three options first if your theme has schema good if not then you have to go for rank math plugin which is schema if you don't want to use uh, rank pen then go for this plugin okay so that's all friend in this video i hope you got an idea how to add schema to your uh, wordpress blog if you have any questions any query do write me in the comment section and i'll be happy to assist you thank you so much for watching